Mm. It's oh, here. God. Oh. It's pretty high proof. I'm not sure how to feel right now. <laughs> it's daytime. Can you drink the night before you sing? Oh, Can yeah. You, okay. That's how I get by. <laughs> That's all I have left. <laughs> So it doesn't, it doesn't affect your voice. I have two kids, right. and I tour. I have but, to drink. But it doesn't affect the voice. No. My mom gave me a strong liver and uh, strong vocal cords. She sings in piano bars. She sings things like, um, you've got the right key, but the wrong keyhole. <laughs> Baby, your key don't fit my lock no more. It's very uncomfortable. It's You've um, willingly come here to play this ridiculous game. I'm excited do. to play this game. <laughs> I've watched you play this sip, game. Save or spit. Um, and the rules, even though you know the rules. Wait, what is that strange noise? Sorry, <laughs> that's my annoying husband on his motorcycle. You know, that's, that's husbands. <laughs> they're, they're, their role is to be annoying in the world. <laughs> I'm Ray Isle from Food & Wine. I'm totally thrilled to be here with Alicia Moore. Um, some of you may know her as Pink, um, but she is actually, in truth, a vigneron and a winemaker with the amazing Two Wolves Winery. Yay. Um, which you, if you haven't had the wines, you need to have them soon. Um, and more importantly, she is the star of our Thanksgiving issue of Food and Wine, which is pretty cool. We had a whole Thanksgiving shoot here. I know. So Sip, Saver, Spit, basically there are three whiskeys here, in fact, because I know you like whiskey. Okay. Try them all three okay. and then decide. One of them is your sip, okay. which is kind of like, you drink it on a daily basis, as, as one does <laughs> okay. with whiskey. You know, it's good, it's fine. One is savor, which means it's delicious and wonderful and it would be the best thing ever. And one is like, get rid of it. I, I can't stand it, I'm gonna spit it out because it's so hideous. Okay. The truth is, they're, they're all good, okay. but you have to have a reaction to them. And I will tell you that they're from three different countries okay. as well. So, Ireland, Scotland, and the United States? You're very smart. <laughs> <laughs> you may have had whiskey before. How do you go from, because you had this other you have this other career, mm -hmm. which seems to involve singing and flying through the air mm. and, and stuff Lots like that. Lots of that. How do you go from that to deciding that what you need to do is, is buy a vineyard and make wine? Because it's not, it's not the natural transition. I think the natural transition is either stay on stage until you die, mm -hmm. or go crazy, or Kill your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Which could be, could go with either one of those. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I honestly, so music and all of that and performance art has brought me all over the world. And when you're on tour, you basically see the hotel gym and the venue. And if you're lucky, you get a day off. And for me on my day off, where I wanna go is somewhere quiet in nature and somewhere I can learn something. And so that became 15 or 20 years ago for me, vineyards. We'll get to your wines in a minute. Right now we got whiskey. Okay. You like it? You not like it. You don't have to make your final decision yet. Um, it's oh God, <laughs> I like it. It's, oh. it's pretty high proof. I'm not sure how to feel right now. <laughs> it's daytime. I figured we'd start big. Don't let's, get drunk yet. Let's move we gotta, on. We gotta move on to All whiskey right. number two. Bit lighter in color. Bit lighter in I color. I see. Definitely smells different. Yeah. This is a bit more luscious vanilla, mm -hmm. kind of. This is a bit less of that. Nice. Mm. Oh, that's smooth. That is, that's actually lovely. That's some sipping whiskey that's right some, there. Yeah. Now, your son is named Jameson, but it's mm -hmm. not entirely because of. No. No. Okay. People assume it is. Right. But uh, my that's dad's name family. is James, my brother's name is Jason, Carrie's middle name is Jason. We're both of Irish descent, right? And we like whiskey. I think it is tricky when you're coming from a field singing, where you've got a lot of fame, mm -hmm. and you're going into wine, and it's it's almost inevitable that you have to worry about whether people are gonna, you know, be like, oh, celebrity wine. You know? Yeah, but I've dealt with that in the first career. I've always had. I still have to prove myself. People still don't know what I even, do, even, even as now. A singer, people, yeah, really. I've been proving myself for 24 years, and I will continue to. But I think when people taste the wines and they sit down and talk to me, they'll understand that I have no shame about being a hard worker and being successful in another place. Right. And I have no shame about being a hard worker in this. I am a hard worker, and I, I like physical labor. I like farming. I like, I, I love it. And it is my total passion, and you know, it's stressful and awesome. I come home from tour, I wanna to put my feet up, instead I harvest the next morning. I poured you the third one. Okay, um, I wasn't looking. <laughs> you were trying to avoid it, I know. Um, All right, this is yeah, somewhere in the middle. Um, Woo! 
Woo! Oh, I like Petey. <laughs> that is Petey. That isn't too mm, I like Petey. It's like drinking salami. Mm. That's about as Petey as you get. Please tell me that's Lafroig 10. You are very good. Am I close? You're close. See, this is the taste a lot of wine, start making wine, your senses get crazy. Takes a lot of beer and whiskey to make good wine. It does take a lot of beer. <laughs> it's absolutely good. There's always, there's always a barrel, of, there's always like a keg of beer hidden at the back of the winery during harvest. So this is how, this is the whiskey I started on. Okay. I was like, the peatier the better, give me the you smoke. You started on like serious badass whiskey. This is. And then now I'm more like a McAllen. So. Okay, so we, I'm gonna savor my peaty, smoky peaty, loveliness. Smoky. Okay. I'm gonna sip the one in the middle, yeah. and I would never spit out whiskey. Right. But but this is the if I the, had the to, three. if it's Sophie's choice, then that one's going this over. This is there. also higher proof, so honestly, drinking it neat is pretty intense. Okay. I mean, it's, it's which like, means I'm a lady. Like you're very delicate. Thank you. you. Know. Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm not sure what that gesture means, but <laughs> so, so I should reveal these at this point. Yes, and let please. You know what you've done. So. Your least favorite. Okay. You would not actually spit it out. Four roses. Oh, okay. I've seen that. Small batch. Never select. had it. Um, Kentucky. Kentucky. It okay. is bourbon whiskey. It is um, it is high proof. It is um, it's 104 proof. Okay. And, and which is probably needs a cube or a little bit of water to some to training mellow wheels. It out. Um, your, your sip. Your my sip, sipping your whiskey. Sip, your day to day whiskey. <laughs> your your wake up in the morning and have a glass oh. of whiskey. Whiskey. Brush your teeth. Whiskey. Is, um, Jameson. Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. Yay. And this is a, a special edition called Cooper's Crows. That's beautiful. And then um, that's because, only 86 because proof. Because your blind tasting ability is off the charts here. Lafroy 10. Wow, I nailed it. You nailed it. Good job. Thank um, you. <laughs> you you have I nailed it. it. And yep, you love it that's too. my jam. Um, and it is it is like a, it's it's distillation of peat basically. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's what a, 43, classic, so that's yeah. 86 proof too. Um, Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm so proud of myself. Let's talk about two wolves. Let's talk about I mean, it. We talked about it a little bit, but um. So this is a carbonic Graciano. To me, it's just like a crunchy berry. Yeah, and it's, it's a su super fresh, super crunchy berry. Serve it cold. Tell me, because I because I didn't in the, in the Thanksgiving article that everybody should go out and read. Two wolves actually comes from a story. It does. The two wolves parable has been following me my whole life, and it is a story of a grandfather speaking to his grandson. And the grandfather is explaining to the grandson that there's this war raging inside of each of us. And it's a war of two wolves. And one wolf is greed, jealousy, anger, fear. And then the other wolf is love and compassion and kindness and generosity mm -hmm. and curiosity. And the grandson thinks about it for a second and he says, well, which wolf wins? And the grandfather says, the one you feed. And to me, that's always given me shivers up my spine because it's all about balance, right? It's I've been in places in my life where I've been completely out of balance and com in a bad place. And I have found balance in my life. And I think the same happens inside of a, a bottle of wine. Cameron Frank, you know I love this wine. We poured this, you poured this for the Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. It actually goes with the turkey incredibly well. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a fun shoot. Was it was so your, fun. <laughs> it was a bunch of your friends. It ended in the lake. Yeah, it did end in the lake. Whose idea was that? Well, I don't know. Because so, people are saying it was mine, but I don't recall I, that. I don't think being it was my the idea. I think someone who knows you among your friends like suggested you Said, jump in the lake. Just go jump in the lake. Yeah, yeah that sounds which, right. Which uh, because they knew you would actually jump in the lake. <laughs> in my dress. In your dress that was with fun. your wine glass. But it, the, which we the picture is so epic because as I'm jumping, the wine is just in this beautiful arc. What I like about these wines is that the like the Cab Franc is not a weird wine. Not it's at all. It's a beautiful all. wine. It's but it's it's very pure. Cab there Franc are much food. weirder Cab Francs. This is this is a slightly unusual wine. The skin contact Simeon is a, is a fairly unusual wine. So mm -hmm. but it's it's they're not weird simply for the sake of weird. They actually no. work in the context of the wine. We're definitely not trying to make hipster wine. We're trying to make beautiful wine that can age and be really food food friendly and that you can drink in the day and not need a nap after. Right. What a beautiful turkey, hey? It is a beautiful turkey. That, that Good is Good job, turkey. Chef Robbie. Uh, we're gonna smoke a turkey. We smoke a turkey on the Traeger. So Carrie and I have a turkey off. Yeah. So he smokes the turkey on the Traeger and then I roast my turkey because I'm a purist in my oven. See. And then we have a turkey off and I always lose. My family, we have a turkey off. We do one in the oven and one deep frying it. I've never had a deep fried turkey. It works really well, though the first year I did it, I came back from Spain, I was jet lagged. 
I was had had like three hours of sleep. I was deep frying this turkey in like 12 gallons of boiling peanut oil, and there were seven huge dogs running around the area. It was um, a recipe for. So you were just in the corner crying. Um, pretty much. Well, I was in the corner actually hoping that I wasn't going to be incinerated. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but it worked, and it does. It does never work. had a deep fried no. turkey. Well, if you need a deep, come to me. I All can right. help you out with a deep fried turkey. All right. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.